everyone. I'm so glad that you are all here. So I wanted to start by reading. I want to do a little spell this morning. <laughs> that was my plan is to do a little witchy spell. And we're doing it on a waxing moon. So that moon that's becoming full Tuesday is our full moon to keep you updated if you are as much in love with the moon as I am. I've been saying that I've been dating the moon for the last two years intensely. Um, and so the full moon is on its way, but this waxing time is a great time to do spell work. And so I want to read you something from my teacher, Robin Rose Bennett's book first. It's called the healing, Ma it's called healing magic. And then I'll tell you a little bit about um, what I have for us. So this is the charge of the goddess. I who am the beauty of the green earth and the white moon among the stars and the mysteries of the waters. I call upon your soul to arise and come unto me. I am the soul of nature that gives life to the universe. From me, all things proceed and unto me, they must return. Let my worship be in the heart that rejoices for behold, all acts of love and pleasure are my rituals. Let there be beauty and strength, power and compassion, honor and humility, reverence within you, and you will seek to know me. Know that your seeking of and yearning for will avail you not unless you know the mystery. For if that which you seek, you find not within yourself, you will never find it without. For behold, I have been with you from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire. I am you. When we start to embody the moon, embody the goddess, embody the energy of this fullness of ourselves and all of our phases. So this, this uh, is a gathering of ourselves and making of a uh, wish bag. And so I made a wish bag for us this morning. Um, and you can certainly do this yourself. I placed in it everything that I love. And often it's suggested to place in your wish bag what you're wishing for this day, for these days, for this coming year, whatever it is that you're wishing. And as I always say, note it as already done so that all your dreams are already fulfilled. But what you put in your wish bag also sometimes can be something that's a little bit spicy or a little bit like there's something called pokeweed, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit poisonous. <laughs> so your wish bag can always contain things that are a little bit on the edge because that's how our life is without that little on the edge. It's really not living fully. So in here, I have mugwort, I have uh, motherwort, very nourishing, nurturing, visioning. I have roses, I have cinnamon for the spice, black pepper. Um, so I have a wish bag here. Whose birthday is the next one coming up? Who has a birthday in January, February, March, April? Summer, fall summer, Really? May? June? July? Okay, as he gets to go home with this. <laughs> I've got wow, that took I've a while. Got okay. it. Cheryl. Yes. Mine is New Year's Eve. I know, but you're not here. So what am I oh. going to? What does one do? Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't catch what you were. What you were. <laughs> Sorry, I was just asking those here. But Larry, I will keep that in my heart for sure. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say a little um, something to our wish. But for right now, just close your eyes and make your wish. And as I've been saying all week, week, please make it a big wish. No longer are we to wish small. No longer are we to wish just little. And I was giving my explanation of how I always, when I wish for my finances to be better, I always wish that I have enough, but I've decided not to wish for enough, but to wish for money falling out of my pockets that I have that much, right? So wish big. And then you can repeat this and then we're going to do a little chant and then I promise we'll move a lot. Repeat after me. This wish of mine. This wish of mine is now a dream held dearly in my heart. It's crafted in trust and beauty. And that is just the start. With deep thanks, I send this wish to you, dear universe. 
Knowing now it'll come true. And if you light a candle at home with your wish bag, and I'll write this little thing that we just said in the chat later, but let's chant. We're gonna do a little chant to Ganesh to start with. Take refuge in knowing everything you want, everything you desire is already yours. Bring your hands together. Inhale for the sound of Om, deep breath in. Release your hands, open your eyes. Come on up to your hands and knees, please. And you can begin to cat and cow for a moment.
Enjoy your breath. Moving through your spine. Imagine your spine as this glowing golden light. <laughs> Veronica just said I stole her Dharma from last night. Yeah. I do. I get all my stuff from, from Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> and Angela and every other teacher that's here. I have nothing original. Why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> Why reinvent the wheel when you all are so brilliant? Downward facing dog. <laughs> Good. Inhaling and exhaling. Letting your melt, the melting heart happen here. Shoulder blades draw onto the back. And there's a feeling of anchoring the heart toward the floor, but lifting the rib cage toward the sky. So the front ribs draw to the back body, but the heart anchors to the floor. This looks really nice, everybody. And then take a walking meditation, feet to hands, please. And a deep bow, a deep remembrance. I know I'm a broken record, but I definitely am clear that we have so much bowing in our practice for a reason. Remember who we truly are and become that, be the goddess, be the God. Right? The idea is that we're embodied as a human being so we can do the work of the God and goddess. <laughs> Hands on your hips, push down through your legs, rise up to stand, reach your arms high to the sky. Take a hold of your left wrist and pull to the right. Keep the inner thighs back, reach down through those legs. Watch that those knees are not locking back, please. And then come back to center and switch to the other side. Beautiful. Coming back to center, sit back into chair. Take your butt way back. Place your hands on your thighs and cat cow here. Make sure your knees are pointing right at your second toes. Hi, everybody. I didn't get to say hi to at the beginning. Some of you I haven't seen in class for a while. It's so good to see you. And some of you I see all the time and it's so good to see you. <laughs> I don't wanna leave them out. And then take your arms up alongside those ears and then lean forward till your torso comes parallel to the floor and send your butt, keep your knees bent, send your butt way back. Send your sit bones nice and wide. Good, now touch your fingertips to the floor. Good, get your butt a little lower. Ah, good, beautiful. Now reach your arms back up alongside those ears and rise the arms up to chair, but stay that low, 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 low. <laughs> Good, clasp your hands behind your back. Straighten those legs and bow. I'm still watching you guys in here too, I am. Inner knees wide, don't let them fall in. Left hand to outer right ankle, right arm to the sky twist. Push that shin in please, push that inner knee wide please. And then try the other side. Beautiful, keep that right hip back. And then release both hands down to the floor, bend your knees deeply again, and step back to plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Rise up into cobra. Press back downward facing dog. Good, Sasha. Great, Alice. Stepping your right foot forward, come into warrior one, first warrior. 
anchor that back foot. Make sure it's slightly out to the left so it's not turned, so it's not directly behind your heel. And then clasp your hands behind your back. Lift your shoulders first, draw the shoulders and throat back, gorgeous, and then bow forward. Yes. Nice. Let the hands float to the floor, spin up your back heel. And then slowly reach your arms out in front of you. So you're going to reach your arms alongside those ears, go slow, and then rise all the way up into that nice high lunge. Bend your elbows, keep your front knee bent, and then lean back like you're being held from behind. Keep that front knee bent. Gorgeous. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Step back, plank. Lower down slow, all the way to your belly or some of you are modifying. Rise up into cobra. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Press back downward facing dog. Stepping the left foot forward, rising up into warrior one. Beautiful. Again, the navel draws in and up, but the sit bones move back and wide. So that's a kind of an opposites you're playing with. Clasp your hands behind your back, lift your shoulders high, pull them back, draw your throat back, take a breath in and bow forward. Beautiful. Hands to the floor, spin up your back heel. Slow here, because you got to use the power of the navel. Reach your arms just alongside your ears, so reach forward, stay low. Good, and then start to rise up nice and slow. Beautiful, bend those elbows, open that chest, lean back. Gorgeous, nice Lisa, nice Renee, nice Susan, everybody, Dana, hands down to the floor, Marjorie, beautiful and downward facing dog. Forward to plank, let's throw Vashistasana in there, right hand holds you, stack your left leg on top of your right or drop your bottom knee. Take your left arm up to the sky and then bend that left elbow and draw back so you're leaning back. Lean back so much, yep. And those of you who have one leg stacked on the other, now step the top leg behind you, come onto your toes, bend that knee. Come onto your toes and then lean back. Lean, that's it. Then lean back, lean back. Beautiful touch down, hands to the floor. Nice crystal, downward facing dog. Beautiful, Sasha. Roll forward to plank. Let your left hand hold you, Vashistasana. Remember your shoulder blades draw deep onto your back. Now start to bend your right elbow, lean back, take your top leg, step it behind you, lean back, lean back, open your chest, but keep your rib cage in. It's like 10 minutes into class and downward facing dog. <laughs> nice job, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Good, stepping your right foot forward, left foot in just enough so that both legs can be straight. Use blocks, please, if you need. And then I want you to come up onto your right heel. So lift up onto your right heel and dig your right heel down and back. So come up onto your right foot, but the heel is where I want it to dig down and back. Hands are on the floor. There we go. Beautiful. Breathing in, breathing out. Maybe wiggle your hips side to side here, get a little space. And what's nice when you do that is you can press your right hip as far to the right as you can, and then press your left hip as far to the left as you can and try to stay there. A balance center. Good, now lay the foot down and then walk towards your right. Walk toward, keep your feet exactly where they are, but just turn your right foot and start to walk towards your right. Turn the left foot. So you're just turning the feet, but the legs are gonna stay where they are. Just turn the feet. Yep, you're just twisting. Yep. 
And then come all the way back. Good. Downward facing dog. You got it. Vinyasa of choice or none at all. Shoulder blades deep on your back. Nice, Allison. Crystal beautiful. Left foot steps forward as you're ready. Bring your right foot in enough so both legs can go straight. Come up onto that left heel. Dig the left heel down. Be curious here that your knee doesn't lock back. So as you lift up, maybe send your shin slightly forward and then try to take the top of your thigh back. Scoop that low belly. Pour that heart forward. Keep breathing, everybody. And then lowering that foot back down to the floor. Feel it imprint the floor. And then walk towards your left, turning your feet so your legs stay where they are, your feet turn. Just a little twist. Incredible, everybody. Come back. Downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Rise up into cobra. And press back into child's pose. Nice. Yeah, it's been very nice. In this practice of yoga and this practice of green medicine, this practice of life ritual becomes very sacred. Whatever we do externally is an invitation internally. Whatever we offer, that's why we do puja, why we do all these wonderful practices of offering to a sacred statue. It's just giving an embodiment to something that is so truly and deeply you. So you might even think of when you are offering something to the moon energy or offering to your wishes and your dreams, right? You're just offering it to you and that's what's gonna make it bigger. That's what's gonna make it grow. Come on up to your hands and knees. Can you imagine you're offering yourself gifts every day. Take your right arm out to the right and slide your right arm underneath your left. Like it's Christmas all the time for you. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but whenever you're buying a gift for somebody else, do you buy yourself something? <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. Like, I'm like, stop. I have a lot of gifts coming for me. But that's the deal, right? If every day you gift yourself, you do a puja for yourself, worship of yourself. We weren't raised to think this way, right? This is something that we have to really sit with. How do we worship ourselves as this great one, this great light? And so sometimes it's just too difficult to do that. So then we place our, our worship on something else. But what if you are the goddess, the God of all? Come on up and change sides. I remember when I hurt myself, uh, I can't believe that we went to India this February, but this past February, I'd hurt myself right before I went to India, my knee. Go ahead and thread the needle the other side. And I called Robin and asked her what to do. And the first thing she said was to have motherwort because motherwort is that beautiful herb that helps you stop worrying. So clearing my sense of being afraid. That's why when we look into mother nature, she's brilliant. Look into yourself as mother nature. Good, come on up, downward facing dog. Settle into your heart here. 
that auric field that's in front of you, behind you, to the sides of you. And circle yourself with light as if there's a giant egg circling you. Radiant light. Right foot steps forward, Virabhadrasana two. So that light is gonna come with you. Open up, Vira two. It just has to get bigger because now you're in a bigger pose. <laughs> it's gonna be a bigger circle. That auric field. Left arm down your left leg, right arm up and back. Yeah. Beautiful. And then take your right forearm onto your right thigh, left arm over your ear, side, yeah, side angle. You got it, right forearm onto your right thigh, left arm over your ear. Nice, Mia. Good. Now come on back up to Virabhadrasana too for a moment. Straighten that leg just to get out of it for a second. And then go ahead and bend it again. Bend the knee again. Clasp your hands behind your back. Keep your left shoulder where it is so you're not bowing forward. Watch locking your elbows. There you go. And then lean to your right. Lean to your right. Now pull your hands back towards your left foot, but pull your head forward. Get that bottom shoulder back. Yes. Yeah. Good, now straighten that right leg and take it into triangle pose. Beautiful, everybody. Nice, Audrey. So open, 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 open. Close your eyes for just a moment. And again, just imagine that giant orb around you of light. And then touch your hands down to the floor, downward facing dog. Vinyasa of choice or none at all, up to you. With devotion, take yourself in all of you. The dark and the light, that's why I've had such a dating frenzy with the moon because it's dark and light. I've loved the sun forever. Left foot forward of your two. Front heel, back in step, same line. Take your right arm down your right leg, take your left arm up and back. Yes. That back hand, can you push your leg up into that back hand so that back leg stays so strong? And then take your left forearm onto your left thigh and take your right arm over your ear. Nice. Remember to draw in and extend out at the same time. Beautiful. And then inhale back up to second warrior. Straighten that front leg for just a moment. <clears throat> Rebend it, clasp your hands behind your back. Remember, you're not bowing forward, so don't turn your body forward. Stay turned toward the long side of your mat. And then lean to the left. Yes, 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 yes. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Good, and then when you start to straighten that left leg, the left arm can float to the floor. So much space, you just got a little longer. Triangle. Beautiful, take a deep breath in. And float those hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Walk or jump to the front of your mat, standing forward bend. If you can, and I think all of you can do this if you bend your knees, slide your hands underneath your feet and stretch your wrists. Bend your knees, slide your hands underneath your feet. So it's your fingers going toward your ankles under your feet. Beautiful. And then release your hands, hands on your hips, push down through your legs, rise up to stand. And just drop your arms alongside the body for a moment. Close your eyes and just feel. It's 
This is a time we reclaim anything we've knowingly or unknowingly have let go of that is ours. With your eyes open, reach back for your left ankle, Natrajasana, left hand, left ankle. Right arm up to the sky. Before you come forward, look up toward the sky, look up toward the ceiling. Before you come forward, you take the eyes up, which might take you off balance, that's okay. But I want your gaze to always be raising up. And then start to lean forward slowly, kick your foot back into your hand, Bring that thigh back, right hip crease back. You can always bend your standing leg, always, always. Inhale, come all the way back up. <laughs> I like when you bend the standing leg actually, or I like when I bend the standing leg, so. I think you like what I like. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Point that knee down to the floor and then look up toward the ceiling for a moment. And maybe the idea of that is just taking your gaze somewhere that you usually don't. Because if we can't turn our face, our head, our eyes in any of these poses, we're not really in a pose. We're stuck. And then come forward as you're ready. Don't forget to spread your toes. So you're really moving through that ankle, that foot. Kick that thigh as high as it'll go. Keep breathing. And then come on back up. <laughs> nice. Very, very good. All right, bend your knees and sit into chair, please. And then lift up onto your tippy toes here, stay in chair. And then rise up to straight legs, but stay up on your tippy toes, rise up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Do not cheat, close your eyes. And then lower your feet and open your eyes. How many times have you felt that in the last year? <laughs> I have no idea where I am, no idea. But that's the fun of right now is that all the rules are broken and we can start again, all right? We get to make our own rules now. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. As long as they're made with love and light, left leg back, drop your knee, inhale your arms to the sky or humor. <laughs> inhale the arms to the sky, low lunge. Good, place your hands on your right thigh. So interlace your hands and press your hand onto your right thigh and push your thigh forward. Bring your thigh all the way to the tip of your toes. Good, now some of you stay there. Some of you reach your left hand back for your left ankle to do a thigh stretch. If your knee is underneath your hip, it's too, you have to move it back, right? You have have to get that knee further back from that hip. If you have hold of that ankle, push the top of your thigh, left thigh back, left thigh back more. So you're in a low lunge, right? Some of you are reaching for the back heel. Some of you are just staying in that low lunge. Beautiful, Helen. Release the hands down, downward facing dog. Really nice. Vinyasa or none, your choice. Nice, Virginia, Lynn, Melody, Larry, beautiful everybody, gorgeous elves. Good, take that left foot forward, drop the back knee, Anjaneyasana. Okay, Sasha, thank you. Hands down onto your thigh. Press that knee forward. It's kind of interesting to take the top of that thigh back, that right thigh back just a little bit. One of the ways to do that is literally take your thigh back. So lift out of it, like lift out of it just a little bit. So it's not a hard thigh. 
Good. And then if you'd like, reach back for that ankle. Draw the knee down, draw it forward. So it's like you're doing a Natra Jasana, but on one knee. Good. You're welcome to swing that left arm up to the sky if you'd like, or stay right where you are. Take that outer armpit back, though. Yes. I love it. Nice, Tony. And down you go. Release. Downward facing dog. Forward to plank. Let's try the Vashi Sasana again. Right hand holds you. Left leg stacks on top. Or drop the bottom knee. Good. Now just lift the top leg if you have them stacked. Or even if you're on a knee, you can lift that top leg. And then just for fun, if you lift this as high as you can, try to reach back and hold that ankle. And if you can't, just fall back and act like that's what you meant to do. And then release. Good. <laughs> Good girls. And try the other side, Vashyastasana. That's it. Navel in, ribs in, lift the top leg as much on that bottom foot as you can be, more on a standing foot. So you might lift, want to lift up just a little. Beautiful. Stacy, nice. And release. Come on down to those knees. Nice, Alice. Down to those knees. Everybody gorgeous and child's pose. This little spell bag that I made. I made sure that it could be smoked. I don't mean smoked <laughs> internally, although it could be, there's nothing in here that you can't. Um, but I mean to use it as a beautiful smoke around the body, around the third eye, around the crown of the head. Smoke rituals, fire rituals are very beautiful to help transformation, help to really invoke what it is that we wish. Our wishes are very important, but wishing big, not small. Beautiful, walk your upper body to the right side, stretching that left side body a lot. From child's pose, walk your upper body to the right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if you don't understand me or if you're just having a moment with yourself. <laughs> okay, I, I good. I'm glad I said something else and, and walk to the other side because you can have as many moments as you want with yourself. I'll hold that space for you. I do have to say it's quite sweet to have the angels in the room with me laughing at the things I say. I can't hear if you are smiling or laughing. So I do like that. Come back to center, please. Downward facing dog. Need to invent some laugh tracks or something. <laughs> Inhaling that right leg back and up behind you and then bring the right knee forward for pigeon, please. Ekapadavajakapatasana. Good, again, that needs to sweep the knees toward each other. And then if you can take your left hand back and hold that back ankle. So doing the thigh stretch here. If that's not possible, keep your hands on the floor. Dig the knee down, draw it forward. Keep that hydraulic lift. So you feel like you're lifting up and away from the floor. Now, those of you who have one foot, one hand back there, maybe try to bring the other hand back there too. Keep squeezing the knees toward each other. Maybe, maybe. Pull the shoulders back, Lisa, nice and beautiful. Nice, Larry, good and gentle release as you bring your forehead down to the floor. Great, Dana. I did say I was gonna type that, didn't I? <clears throat>
we call in new beginnings, fire of the south, the waters of the west, the earth of the north, the winged ones, the angelic forces above and below the darkness that is also fertile and the center, which we always return over and over again. Spell work sounds a little, you know, sometimes, I don't know what it sounds, but it's really just simple and beautiful. Calling on Mother Earth as your guide to bring forth your dreams. Calling on the moon, the sun, the stars. What better allies? Good, come on up. Now, you can jump switch here if you want to. So you can either go back to down dog and do it the boring way, which we lifted our left leg up behind us and then we sent our left knee through, or you can just lift up and jump switch to the other side. There you go. <laughs> or that even works better. <laughs> yeah, you could do a handstand in between. So whatever you feel like doing, <laughs> and then once you rise up, reach back for that ankle, or if you're on your back, ankle to knee. Nice. <laughs> Another handstander. Nice job. Believe me, if I don't mean it, I say just kidding, because I know some of you are crazy and will try something I suggest if I'm kidding. <laughs> Good. If you have one ankle and you'd like to, if you have the same ankle, if you want to reach both hands back, you're welcome to do that. Just be careful not twisting in this. Yeah. Beautiful. And then slowly start to bring yourself forward onto your forehead. Or again, like I said, if you're on your back, enjoy your breath there. This wish of mine is now a dream held dearly in my heart. It's crafted in trust and beauty, and that is just the start. With deep thanks, I send this wish to you, dear universe, knowing now it'll come true. That's just something from Robin's book, something so beautiful and precious. You can write anything, any poetry from your own heart. Take a couple more deep breaths here, please. Beautiful. And then rise back up, downward dog. If you jump switched and you feel like you missed that down dog split, feel free to take that left leg up and back behind you. Gorgeous. And then lower that leg back down. Good. Step your right foot forward, please, and open up to Virabhadrasana 2 once again. Coming back into triangle pose, straightening that front leg, reaching toward that ankle or hand on block. Watch that top shoulder take it back. Great, Lauren. Nice, Andy. And then bend your right knee and come forward to half moon or waxing moon, we'll call it today. Nice, Melody. Squeeze those legs toward each other and reach back for that ankle if you'd like or stay right where you are. So maybe take that knee in for a moment of, as a thigh stretch and then start to pull that knee back, that foot back. Yes. And step back, coming back into second warrior. 
And then take that right forearm onto that right thigh or right hand down to the floor or bind if you want to take your right arm underneath your right knee, left arm behind you. You can bind. Yes. Yeah, nice. And release down, downward facing dog. Super beautiful. Left foot steps forward, Virabhadrasana two. And we're going to take it right into triangle pose. Nice, Susie. Susan. I have a couple of Sus Susans here today. Good, bend that front knee and come forward into half moon. Gorgeous, Angela, that leg just flies up. Jessica, beautiful, reach back for that ankle if you'd like. I love the sun shining in. Nice, Ellen. And then as you step back into that second warrior, prepare to come into side angle. So left forearm on left thigh, we're taking the bind. Great, Nancy, Yasmin, beautiful. And release down, downward facing dog. Come on down to those knees for a moment, please. And then walk your hands up to your hips. So you're nice and high preparing for Ustrasana camel. So your butt is off your heels. You're gonna either put a block between your shins or truly use your shins here to make sure that you're not just taking your back bend, but your legs are powerful. Place your hands on your hips, push down through your legs, lift up through your chest. And then start to reach back for those ankles without letting your thighs pop forward, hardest thing to do. So take your butt slightly back, thighs back, ribs back, and then see if you can reach back for those ankles. If you cannot do that, put your hands at your low back. That'll be great. Keep breathing, nice open throat. Good, come back, sit on your heels if you can. If you can't sit on your heels, maybe just stay lifted up. Take a couple of breaths. And then come back to that lifted place. So camel again, but this time you're gonna reach back for your right heel. So bring your right heel up towards your right hip, just like you've been doing thigh stretching. Just pick that foot up. Yeah, just pick that foot up and then take your left arm up to the sky. So the outer armpit has to move back a lot. That left outer armpit, move it back and then start to reach back like you're going with the arm overhead, like you're gonna go back to camel, keep the heel in. Beautiful, come back to center. Nice, Kathy, switch sides, Linda, beautiful. Nice, Lisa. Try the second side. Draw that knee down to the floor, so power in your legs here. And then gently release, downward facing dog. Gorgeous. Nice, Lana. Right foot steps forward, left foot steps in just a little back to that space, Parshvottanasana, both legs straight. A deep bow here. Right foot forward, left leg back, hands on the floor.
And then switch legs. Our holiday classes here were typically 50 plus. So thank you for continuing that. Thank you guys all for being here. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have 46 online and we have eight here in the room. Step to the front of the mat. Yeah, I know, I know. It's nice to know that you're, um, consistent <laughs> and then hands on your hips push down through your legs rise up to stand all right so the last natra jasana but it's that quirky one that i really like so lift your right knee into your chest bend your standing leg so bend your left knee take your butt slightly back and then let your right shin cross over your body so it's just going to kind of cross in front of that left don't hold it any longer don't hold it let it go yeah Good, now sit back a little bit more like your, your butt's going back. Your right hand goes up to the sky, thumb and first finger touch and the palm reaches toward the ceiling. Your left hand comes underneath your navel, thumb and first finger touch and Gyana Mudra. The dance of your life and this is the snapshot of it. Somebody's taking a picture of a moment in time for you, for me. And the truth is it is full of joy and light. And that radiance that's circling you is protecting your immune system. Good. Inhale, come on up. And try the other side. Remember the bending of the standing leg is bent. That's nice. Spread your toes. I love it. There you go. Yes, yeah. Keep breathing and rise up. Beautiful. Take your feet wide and come into squat, please. If you would like to take a crow pose, now's the time to do it. If you want to stay in your squat, that's great. If you want to come down to your seat and bring the soles of your feet together, that's great as well. If you want to try an arm balance, you're going to draw your knees to the upper shelf of your arms, leaning forward, looking forward, rounding your back a lot, and lifting your feet off the floor. And then coming down, beautiful. Come down to sit, bring the soles of your feet together. Nice, everybody. Make sure you wiggle your butt back a little bit more. And then come forward any amount. Blessed be. You can also put into a smoke mix thyme or basil dried. Wonderful things around your house. Make sure you're drinking a lot of basil and thyme tea antiviral. So interesting how some of the simplest things that we can do for ourselves, nobody tells us about. From here, st I, some of you have blocks underneath you and that to me means I think you should stay exactly where you are. 
If you'd like to continue, we're going to take a little bit of a belly stretch. So you're going to lift up your toes. You're going to lean back and lift your toes up. But if you have the blocks and you want to stay, that's fine with me. So reach for your big toes and lift your feet off the floor. Now lift your chest a lot. Now start to take your legs nice and wide. Open V. You can even keep your knees slightly bent. That's cool. Good. Now squeeze your legs toward each other and bring your arms alongside the body for Navasana. Squeeze the legs toward each other. You got it. Good. You can even bend the knees here. Good. Okay. Put your feet back down onto the floor for a second. Let's see if we're going to try it like this. Um, take your right leg just up to the sky. Just your right leg straight up. Good. Take your hands behind at your calf muscle and draw your leg in towards your chest. So lift up as close as you can. So nice, nice thigh stretch. Sorry, hamstring stretch. Good. Now try the other leg. So you're just, I know, it's not what I usually do, Nancy. So just try to hang in there with me. Take your left leg up. Yeah. There it is. Walk up, up, bring your hands to the back of the leg and squeeze in. So it's as if you're doing a forward bend here. Good. Now I want you to try with both legs up. So bring both legs up. You can even wrap your hands behind your calf muscles and hold opposite elbows. <laughs> <laughs> And release back down. Very nice, everybody. I'm going to give you an option to do an inversion here. So headstand, handstand, legs up the wall, shoulder stand, no stand at all. <laughs> you can lie on your back with the soles of your feet coming together. So inversion of choice, safe inversion of choice. Wherever you find yourself, please keep breathing. Just another minute here. I sent to you via chat what's oh, written in Robin's book if anyone is interested in it. And then slowly begin to make your way down. Come on up to set. Just 
just for a moment, take a spinal twist, turning to the right and then to the left. And then find yourself coming back to center and closing your eyes. As we experienced this past Monday, the gift of Jupiter and Saturn as they helped us return to our balance point. And what that means is that we have the ability to create anything that we dream of. And return back to that place of open space, contraction and expansion, dark and light. And I shared with some of you the other day that my experience on the 21st was very profound. And that instead of thinking just enough, my feeling was to think I want everything. Instead of thinking I can only have a certain amount, I think I can have everything I want. And that's not from an egoic place. It's from a place of finally realizing that everything that I came here to do and be and experience and receive, I want. No use playing it small any longer. And whatever that looks like, I don't know. But I know that I'm co-creating it with the best stuff on earth and sky and fire and water. So just take a moment in silence to receive what already is yours. I was saying the other day that I do definitely know that I will be living by the water at some point and having a retreat place for you all to come and visit me. I do know that. So what I was doing the other day was envisioning the people who were moving out of the house. <laughs> They're just cleaning it up for me. They're putting on the last couple additions or whatever. So take a moment and receive yourself fully. You could stay here for as long as you'd like or lie down on your back for Shavasana.
Begin to deepen your breath. Let your body stretch and yawn in any way that serves you well. If you're lying down, go ahead and hug your knees into your chest and roll up to sit. And bring your hands to your heart center. May this year, as it comes to an end, may we know that it has been a year not only of challenges, but of great beauty, and that it was necessary. And through the pain and through the suffering and through the joy and the invitation to find ourselves. May we continue together to do this work in such a big way. Inhale for the sound of Om, deep breath in. Oh. Sliding your hands up to the space between the eyebrows. Namaste, everybody. Thank you, Namaste. thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful holiday. Those of you who are celebrating tomorrow, I will see you soon. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you.